Welcome to Planet Microcap. I'm your host, Robert Kraft, and joining me today is Gilbert Clark. He's the executive chairman of Meridian Mining. It's a publicly traded company. I got two symbols for you, MNO on the TSX and MRRDF on the OTCQB. And Meridian will be presenting at the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek happening September 13th through 16th, 2022. For more information, please go to PreciousSummit.com. And with that, Gilbert, thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? Robert, thank you very much for having me, and I'm really looking forward to coming to Beaver Creek for this year's conference. Absolutely, so are we. So this is actually our first time doing an interview together, so can you start us off with a quick overview and history of the company? Sure, sure. Well, Meridian was a, uh, in, in 2019, was a corporate restructure, and during that year, we made the decision to focus on copper and gold, and tips, anticipating the, the changes in the commodity markets. And then in 2020, we were able to secure um, one of the most exciting, I guess it is now, the most exciting VMS project internationally called Cabasal in Mato Grosso in Brazil. We've always been Brazil focused. And over the last 18 months, we've drilled some, gosh, must be nearly 20, 22, 23,000 metres of drilling. We had an historical giant database. And now we're going through the next stage of shortly releasing our first resource statement, which we think is going to be quite ex quite exciting for the entire mining community. So Gilbert, what would you say makes Meridian Mining unique and different compared to your peers out there? Oh, I think the first thing we have to say is, is we are the peer. Um, we have got an entire VMS belt that is largely defined by one of the mining giants, uh, Rio Tinto, and the flight part of that BP Minerals. Um, we have over... I guess 70,000 meters of drilling into our existing database. We recently announced some of the best metallurgy you're ever going to see for a VMS deposit. And I guess when you look at the project, you look at the comparable VMS camps around the world, well, they're largely depleted. Well, we've got all the near surface open pit and then in the decades to come, I guess, the underground optionality. This is why we aren't really the, we don't compare ourselves to peers. We are the peer. We are the next VMS camp coming into production. And, and I can easily debate that with anyone. Absolutely. So, Gilbert, you know, what, what was your background prior to Meridian Mining? Oh, I'm out of private equity. I, I spent the last 10 years in the, in the sentient funds. Um, when we had the, the change in the general partner, I became one of the partners of sentient. Um, I, this was actually one of the turnaround portfolio companies, and I... Um, 2019 decided to leave the funds and actually focus on this project. It's been an incredible experience because I've been able to bring the, the risk matrix of what the uh, major commodity houses, major mining houses accept, and then bring that into a junior company. And, and since then, we've gone from being a, a junior issuer on the TSXV, which was a very rewarding experience, to graduating to the main board in, in some 14 months. Um, it really has been 14 months since we acquired the Cabasal project. She's just a baby at that. But, you know, I'm in the, the board that we have are all experienced uh, mine developers, private equity managers, project finances, uh, bankers, and then the team in Brazil, because they're almost 99% you know, Brazilian managed, they're mine builders, mine operators. And that's what really differentiates us. We're not a company in there trying to promote an asset that's been reborn or subsequently, you know, be reborn many times. This is an asset that was hidden from the public markets for some 30 years. We've acquired it. And to be honest, over the last 12, 14 months, we've put out drill results of just, it's been a generation since you've seen the size and the, and the capacity of what this project is going to deliver to the markets. Absolutely. So then to close us out here from what you can tell us, what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts now in the near term? Well, we, pardon me, we, we're going to announce our first resource statement. Um, you know, I think that's containing some 90,000 metres of drilling, 56,000 assays. Um, this will just be one of our deposits. Um, and then in, recently we announced a new gold, silver discovery along the belt. It's a VMS belt, so we're going to see multiple, multiple discoveries or resource developments. We have another a, a comparative asset that's advanced, drilled, um, industrial, metallurgical results that we will bring into a resource statement next year. So although we're developing, developing Cabasal towards that construction decision, subsequent standard engineering and financial studies, 
we're still going to have news flow for next year for the years to come it's it's a true vms camp that we're developing very good so then uh, where can our audience go and find more information on meridian mining guys please come to the meridianmining.co um, the website's there on the information page. There's an info button. It comes to myself. Please, any inquiries, always just hit that info at meridianmining.co. I always respond. I'm very uh, fluid in my exchange with my shareholders and stakeholders. Very good. Well, Gilbert, thank you so much for joining me today. Really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I look forward to our next update. Thanks. Thank you very much for having me today. Thank you. Again, Meridian Mining will be presenting the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek happening September 13th through 16th, 2022. For more information, please go to PreciousSummit.com.